Hello all. Welcome back to your English class. I'm Jasmine and this is the 18th module. In this module we are going to continue with the lesson we are not afraid to die if we can all be together. In the previous module we saw how the narrator and the entire crew was trying their level best to reach Isle Amsterdam. But it will be possible only if there is a change in the weather now let's read further and know what happens in the story as you read further you can see after 36 hours of continuous pumping on january 4th the water was only a few centimeters left to be pumped out but they still had to pump out the water which was coming in they could not set sail on the main mast They hoisted the storm jib and sailed towards the two small islands. They had their first meal in two days, which was some corned beef and cracker biscuits found by Mary. The rest period was short-lived as black clouds built up around 4 p.m. The wind was now 14 knots and the sea was getting higher. The weather got worse and by the early morning of January 5th the situation was really bad. Now let's check out which are the new words coming in this section of the story. First one rigging which means the ropes and wires supporting the structure of the ship. Next one hull which means the framework of the vessel. third one respite which means a short period of rest next one deteriorate which means get worse now let's read further i would say this part of the story is the most emotional and inspiring one because you can see how the family members they give confidence to each other and they realize the importance of standing together when a crucial situation is ahead as you read the section you can see when the narrator went to comfort his children the son asked him whether they were going to die he tried to assure him that they would definitely make it the son replied that they were not afraid to die till they all were together This filled the narrator with a great determination to fight back. He made efforts to protect the weakened starboard side. He used an impoverished sea anchor made of heavy nylon rope and two 22 liter plastic barrels of kerosene. That same evening, the narrator and his wife sat holding hands and they believed that their end was near. Now let's check out the new words. The first one heave to which means to raise or lift with effort. The second one paraffin which means a colorless flammable oil liquid. Now let's continue reading the story further. As you read the section of the story you can see the ship made it through the storm and by the morning of january 6th the narrator tried to get reading on the sextant he worked with the wind speeds drift and current and calculated their position they were in 150000 kilometers area of ocean looking for a 65 kilometer wide island while the narrator was still thinking his daughter sue joined him and she was in pain as the narrator observed he could find that the left side of her head was swollen and her blackened eyes had narrowed down to slits sue presented him a card which she had made herself on the front of the card was a cartoon image of her parents with words written about them being funny people and how they made her laugh on the inside of the card she told them 
how she loved them both and she thanked them this made the narrator realize that they had to make it to the island at any cost now let's check out the new words in the section the first one sextant which means an instrument with graduated arc of 60 degrees for taking altitudes and navigation second one caricatures which means cartoon of a person now it's time to wind up here and let's see what happens further in the story in the upcoming session thank you